Peace and love, y'all. It's yours truly, Nefer Peacock Nubia, coming into you and all my blindness. You know, y'all, I'm a Gemini. So as Geminis, we love to mutate and really are big free spirits. And when it comes to expressing our, our unique artistic expression, we always you can always tell <laughs> when a Gemini is going through a change because it shows we, we wear it on us. So especially this Gemini, okay? And um, so, yes, I'm, I'm blonde. Who knows? I may be black, back to black in like a month or whatever after baby wisdom Bella is born. But today I'm blonde and coming to you to talk to you specifically about a question that was posed to me um, via Nefer, my Nefer Peacock Nubia at gmail.com about this guy was talking to me about his luck and was telling how his love life is going wrong and his business is not going as planned and it just seems like he keeps being used and people are um it's just things are just off balance for him you know and it's thing after thing after thing and how can he stop this how can he switch it all around many of us go through these time periods in our lives where it just seems like nothing can go right like everything's going wrong when it rains it pours you always hear that and what can we do in these moments to get the most out of these moments and see what they're trying to show us and then turn them around and use all that energy to manifest the life that we want for ourselves what's the problem what's the blockage i hear people will say well did somebody put a curse on me what's going on we have to take more responsibility in our own power we give sometimes too much credit and too much power to other people you know and we end up making ourselves the victim maybe they put a bad spell on us maybe this person came into our energy i mean into our lives and by us having them in our lives, you know, they we allow them to wreak havoc in our lives. Um, that can be somewhat true, but we have to always remember that we are actually the creators, the co-creators of our life, okay, along with the being that has created us, being made in the image and likeness of the most high. We are the ones co-pilot, co-creating this ish, okay? So all of the experiences that we are having, we called into our lives and we allow them into our lives to teach us something, you know, to take us to the next level. And what are they trying to teach us so we can stop banging our head up against the wall and repeating the same behavior over and over again? What is going on? So, mister, that I will anonymously speak to and whoever else is going through these hard times, I was led in spirit after going through meditation about a few things that I jotted down in my journal. So if you see me reflecting back on my journal, I'm on a few notes on this topic and ways to really change around your luck and change everything to make the best out of your life, okay? So one, something, these are, um, how many things I write down? These are seven or eight things that contribute to us not having what we want in our lives the exact way we want them, okay? Number one, for some people, they stop believing that things will get better. It's not that they want to, but what happens is that they become so used to things going bad for them that they start creating things to go bad because in a way they're expecting things to go bad. They say things like, oh God, what next? Oh God, what else? Oh gosh, you know what I mean? Like really bringing that energy into their lives or if something bad happens, they're like, oh, that just my luck you know what i mean and those send out those vibrations and those energy frequencies that really truly do manifest more bad you have to tell yourself no matter what happened that okay this is small things small things to a giant i love that saying small things to a giant that this is about to get better you know this ain't nothing this is something small you know what i mean um, that and start saying and speaking life into your your life saying oh, okay so this is what's next okay um yeah I may have um lost this amount of money but just in a month or so this is gonna all turn around and you'll see and tell yourself you'll see this will all turn around for me okay that's one thing we get in our own way with our self defeating thoughts and our victimhood and we want to blame other people say oh well you did this they per that they, but that person did do this that person did allow this but you were the one that allowed 
um, whatever happened to happen. People can only do to you what you let them. And you can only um, have let ha have only certain things happen to you. Very rarely, certain things ha very rarely certain things happen outside of our control. You know, it, and, and it does. I'm not going to say it doesn't. All along around the world, we see atrocities like that. But for the most part, you can control. You know, um, what happens in your life by what you allow. You know, number two. You want to always make sure that you're burning your sage. You want to make sure that you're always cleansing and purifying yourself. White sage um, and, and taking certain baths in, in um, Florida water, um, Himalayan sea salt, um, taking baths and basil, um, doing certain ritual work such as these and showers. When you get in the shower, like I've said in the previous videos, when you get in the shower, stand under that water and tell yourself, Pray, call out to whoever you need to call out to and say, I, as this water hits me, I wash away all negativity. I wash away all fear. I wash away all, um, if it's bad luck, you feel like you have all bad luck. Anything negative, wash it away. I wash away any habits of negative thinking. And even if you don't feel it initially, that one bath, because sometimes you 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 know, you're, you're so used to having a certain mindset, certain behavior that you created spiritual blockages, continue to do it. Do it for seven days, okay? Do it for seven Seven days in a row and you will start to see a difference in your life you'll start to believe it and it's all about you your energy and the power is within you once you really know that this is working that this this shower is working this ritual is real you know then it will really show and prove itself to be real in your life and then you'll see that people will be more attracted to you to bring in what you need whether it's um more business whether it's love you'll start to give off that aura that people will want to be around okay three you want to create, oh, in, in reference to the sage, in case you didn't know about the sage, the sage is um, a cleansing. Um, you can burn. It's called smudging yourself. You burn the sage and you could take a feather like this. Some people don't use feathers. I do. You can take a feather like this. This is a, a smudging feather. And you burn the sage and you go like this to yourself. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse your room. Open up the windows. Cleanse your room. Cleanse out all the negative spirits. Tell them to leave. Command them to go. All the bad energy that you have around you. All the bad energy that you may have within you. Cleanse that, okay? Um, and if you don't have a feather, you could still just go like this, okay? Um, gratitude list. Start writing down things that you're extremely grateful for. When you start writing down things that you're grateful for, what's going right in your life, you'll attract more of what's going right and you'll focus more on what's going right than what's going wrong. And then that energy will be a happy energy that will also attract better into your life. Really make sure that you really think about things that you have grateful for. Don't think that you never have anything to be grateful for. If you have clean water, you have something to be grateful for. If you have um, a healthy body, you have something to be grateful for. If your child is healthy or your mother is healthy or your brother, your girlfriend or your husband or whomever, if you have two eyes to see this video, two hands, two feet, you know, there's a saying that once was a man who complained because he had no shoes until he met the man who had no feet. Okay. So you really want to be mindful of that. You know, be have an attitude of gratitude because it does definitely change and influence your life for the better. Okay, four, create your vision board. If you have not already, create your vision board. It works. So I know I'm always talking about this. You know, I have a video on this. If you haven't seen the video, then you can go to um, the video. It's called, I promise to give you everything you want and need. Type that into YouTube, watch that video, create your vision board and really put your energy. I don't care how many, many hours it took me, seven hours to sit there and do my vision board. OK, because I really put energy into making sure I put I'm looking at it right now to making sure I put um, stickers and letters and words. And I really put all of my energy into that vision board. And my mother was like, yo, thanks for just jumping out of your vision board. It's my third vision board. Yes, my last vision board had a cruise on it, um, some uh, this certain car on it, some certain just thing, just all, all kinds of stuff that I ended up just attracting to my life. Like people that was like, boom, hey, you want to do this? All paid for it. You know what I'm saying? So your vision board really manifests whatever it is that you need. I have right now because I'm having a baby in five, five, four or five short weeks or whatever um happily ever after baby you know baby love and pictures of um you know just a beautiful happy baby and baby i wanted a baby girl so i put i didn't before i knew if it was a boy or girl i put pictures of a baby girl and a mother you know and baby girls all over the um 
Um, it says, I love my girl. All over the vision board, I got a girl. So I'm just saying like certain things like that. Do your vision board, okay? And watch the vision board video if you haven't. Number five, surround yourself with people who are where you want to be in life. I know you heard it. It's very important that you surround yourself with positive people people because negative people, I don't care how much you love them, will be vampires that will drain out your energy without putting anything back into you and it will not be good for you. It will be horrible, 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 horrible for you and is detrimental to your happiness, your health, your success. It creates dis-ease and disease. So surround yourself with people who, if you want um, success in your life, surround yourself with successful people. How do you find successful people? Go start Googling what kind of organizations or clubs are in your city that are that are people doing what you're doing, you know, or start going to places that are certain businesses that um, are successful businesses of what you want to be doing. Put yourself in that energy of that place. See what you can absorb and what you learn. You might meet some people that may help you get to the next level and surround yourself with positive people. Okay. That is a huge one. And, and, and your success, your overall success in life. Six, write down your se your self-defeating behavior patterns and your self-defeating thoughts and find a way to release them. I love to write on parchment paper. Um, it's like the resume paper. I have some in my journal right here. It kind of looks like this. It's like resume paper. It's brown paper. And you write down on there what you want to release. I usually do that at full moons because full moons is about letting go. Um write down what you want to release. I willingly and easily release the need to I, to think of myself like this, to, 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 to allow anything to get me down, to allow people to take advantage of me, whatever it is, you write that down and you say it. And when you, after you finish writing those things that you need to release, when you read it, you read that with so much power and so much emphasis, like you are fed up, like you are done. Okay. And you're like, I easily and powerfully and responsibly and release, use my power within me and the power of the most high and the power of my angels, ancestors, whoever, to now release this out, this spirit, this energy out of my life, this self-defeating, self-loathing behavior. You cast that spirit out and you burn it. You go outside and you burn it, okay? And you let it go. That is very powerful, okay? You want to do that, you want to do that, you want to do that. And if you find that if for some reason after that, that doesn't work, what I want you to do is I want you to write that down, that same list down, read it with affirm with the, all the power within you for seven days. And then on the seventh day, burn it and release it and let it go. Remember, say it out loud with all the emphasis and power. And last but not least, stop looking at the past to see how things are going to turn out, but look towards the future. So not what's wrong, but what's going right, okay? So that is a major one. Um, you don't, a lot of times we're like, man, I'm so upset because this won't go this way. Or man, I can't believe he or she did that. They did that this time before and this time before and this time before. Or man, my business has not been successful. Or man, I, I'm used to creating and manifesting, but now I can't create and manifest. Don't even, don't buy it. Don't believe it. It's a lie. It's an illusion. Always, no matter what. I don't care how much money is in your account. I don't care how much you're arguing with your spouse. I don't care what's going on in your life. You always focus on your mind on what you want and not what you don't want. Because the problem is, is that when you focus on what you don't want, you end up attracting that into your life. So if you focus on what you do want, whenever you start hearing yourself saying negative stuff, uh-uh, no, no, no. Stop, stop, cancel, 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 and start saying, this is what I want. If you focus on what you want instead of what you don't want, what you want will manifest like this, okay? My father, who's highly successful, I saw him go from nothing to all the multi-millions that he has, owning so much of Houston and a lot of parts of just the whole South, okay? And he always tells me, baby, if you focus on the problem, the problem gets bigger. Always focus on the solution, okay? Find the solution. And this right here, my loves, is your solution. I know that that has helped you immensely. If you didn't catch all that, I encourage you to rewind, write that down as notes. 
and um, share it with others who may not be having um, um, success in their lives in every area of their lives because we all can do much better you know better is possible than good is not enough okay so we find contentment in ourselves by knowing our power and knowing our beauty and 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 our, our true god potential may, being made in the image and likeness of the most high that means we are creators and we have to take it upon ourselves to create what it is that we want because if things are going wrong it's something going on wrong within us as within us so without okay so you know which is basically saying whatever's going on inside of us is what's going to be presented back to us in life so if things are not going right to, with us in life then there's some things that's just some groundwork we need to dig deep in within ourselves and really get to the bottom of it and this is the way to do so okay I send you lots of love lots of love from myself from my big old baby belly womb you want to see wisdom? I'm going to show y'all wisdom, Bella. Whoop! <laughs> I send you lots of love from her. And I send you, um, I know everything is going to change now for the better in your lives. And I'm so excited. I want you to email me, neferpeacocknubi at gmail.com. And let me know how applying the, this has helped and changed your life like I know it will. Because it is definitely, definitely, definitely changed mine. And I'm so happy that I can um, share that with you, okay? So I'm excited for you. You should get excited too because you know now that everything is about to change for the better. And that's the attitude that you need to be in. You need to be pumped up. You need to be excited like, whoo, all right, this is a new beginning. And you need that attitude, especially when getting out of those, those cleansing showers. You're like, whoo, I just rinsed that off, okay? And when and you send out those negative spirits, that negative energy, you get, get to work, okay? Apply this stuff in your life and let me know how it works for any more questions comments concerns you may type here comment here um on facebook and definitely if and there's any videos that you would like me to do then just email me at neverpeacocknubia at gmail.com hotel peace i love family namaste peace